What is up everybody, Joe Major here from i407 Studios and I wanna say thank you to everyone that has been a fan, everyone that is a subscriber, a Patreon. You guys are the most loyal and I can't thank you enough. We have hit 407 subscribers. Wow, I never thought we would actually get this. <laughs> I really didn't. Uh, during a pandemic and everything that was going on, but you guys kept pushing through it. You kept sticking with us and I appreciate that more than anything. So I wanna do something special for you guys today. We are opening up a beautiful, vintage after we took a vote on facebook and discord so if you're not go ahead and check out our patreon to get access to our discord and also our facebook groups we are opening up a beautiful neo genesis unlimited pack look at that freshly sealed freshly vintage amazing absolutely stunning all right guys let the celebration commence we are at 407 subscribers man so we are opening up literally seven products all right, let's see. We can get these completely open. These are the Shining Fates mini tins. I know I got an X-Acto knife literally to help me try and open up this stuff because some of these tins, man, are just so hard to open nowadays. You can really tell that they are just, the packaging is it's a pain in the ass. It really is. Yeah, so uh, say hello to my X-Acto knife, guys. Uh, this is uh, Charisse. Yeah, she's gonna be with us throughout the channel for now on. Beautiful. All right, so we got the first one coming up, Zarud. Oh, a Mewtwo coin. Fucking awesome. Love that. Absolutely love that. Mewtwo and Mew being two of my favorite Pokemon of all time. Zarud, here we go. So let's get everything in focus today so we're not screwing anything up for this wonderful celebration, guys. And again, thank you for all this love and support, man. 407 subscribers. I could not have imagined this was happening as soon as it did. You guys are the absolute best, man. And these pack openings... These are all for you guys. I want to give you guys something just fun to watch, something to enjoy. And don't forget to leave your name and a comment down below for our massive, yeah, like I said, it's going to be a fun giveaway that we are doing next week. So stay tuned for that, guys. You'll know exactly when it's happening because you'll see the thumbnail. So, of course, we're going to bring back the wheel pulls and a bunch of other things as well, man. All right. It's basically a giant celebration of the channel. <laughs> I know. You know what? Congratulations on the 400 subscribers also. That would be awesome. Yeah, we completely ignore that one. But we just got to 407, man. So here you guys go. Beautiful code card. We're going to do some card tricks today. And then we're going to crack open that beautiful Neo pack, man. Unbelievable. So let's pull some shiny Pokemon in the meantime. We got Eldegoss, Dartrex, Skyball, Eevee, more Peko, Yanma, Choodle, and... Oh, no, Kufon. And what do we got? Ah, Trap Inch non-holographic. It's going to be the reverse rare. And Upside Down Manaphy. All right. All right. Starting off with uh, some very odd decisions when it comes to putting these cards in packs. I don't know how that happens. I really don't. How do they actually go ahead and just screw that up completely? That's insane. That is insane, man. But I'm just happy to be here, guys. You, get, you guys, whether it's the news channel, the Power Rangers channel, uh, the We Went To series... You guys, no matter what, are sticking by me and sticking by the channel, and I appreciate that so much. I love you all. Truly, thank you for this amazing milestone. And a Toxel, baby Toxel. I, you know what? I said I wasn't going to say baby shinies. But yes, I don't have this. This is going to go straight into the master set, man. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. All right. So there, our first shiny of the day. And then we got Celebi. Awesome. Awesome. So then we got Kyogre. All right. Him and Groudon. Uh, the lead legendaries for Ruby and Sapphire. This exact one, like, man, this was like the, you know what? It might've been like the smallest purchase ever, but it was like one of the like smartest. <laughs> yeah, the little things in life, man. Yeah, look at this. Look, look at how tight these are to open. I can't believe that. Oh, so all you have to do is just clip it right there and there you go. So we are opening up every single one of these tins, man, showcasing them on the channel as well. I want to do something special. I want to do something fun. There we go. We got a Manaphy. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful coin. All right. And let's take a look at the card. It is just the card itself of the actual tin. Uh, they used to used to be able to connect them, uh, but I guess not nowadays. It's just, uh, you know what? I'm, I actually am kind of a little disappointed in that. I ain't going to sugarcoat it. But I wanted to do the celebration of the last two expansions uh, for today. Just open it up a few packs and then... Yeah, man, enjoying our beautiful vintage pack opening today. Yeah, man, the last two packs, the last two expansions, really, Battle Styles. Uh, more or less consider this like a season finale of Battle Styles and also Shining Fates, because we are going to be moving on to Chilling Rain and Evolving Skies. 
So let this be uh <laughs> let this be the end. Let this be the end of our journey for these particular sets, man. All right, so as you can see right here, we have, oh, it's not on the holographic. It is actually going to be, or the non holo is gonna be right here, a little damage onto the energy card itself. There we go, fighting energy, Rotom, Rustic Sword, the Wacky. Now, granted, you can go buy a bunch of these on the i 47 Studio shop. And in addition to that, guys, we are going to be having a beautiful sale for 407 subscribers coming up this week. So stay tuned Tuesday for that for our shop openings for next week. You guys will enjoy it. A Glaring Dormanitan shiny. There we go. All right, two for two so far on the shinies. There we go. Professor's Research, non holographic. Of course, the holographic Professor's Research comes in a wonderful, brand new. Um, what the hell was it? We opened it up in something. You got a holographic Professor's Research card in one of the uh, newer uh, TCG product expansions. What was it? What did we open up? I can't, I don't remember. I don't remember. Oh well. <laughs> Fun times here. And that's just it, man. We are your number one alternative Pokemon card opening channel where we mix comedy, Pokemon, 90s nostalgia, and whatever the hell else we want to do. So trust me, when you watch us, we are truly not like anything else. But we are still searching for a hyper rare Charizard. If we can pull a Charizard, man, that'd be fantastic today. Just to, uh, you know what? Successfully come to a season finale of Shining Fates and Battle Styles. That's just it, man. I wanted to showcase those two products, Shiny Fates and Battle Styles. Those are the last two expansions, and then we're gonna take a step back in time and take a look and see if we can pull something good for the Neo Genesis series. And trust me, it is a series that I very, very much enjoy. It was, um, I think it was the first series that, or maybe not, maybe it was Neo Discovery. I don't, I'm contradicting myself right now. The thing about that is basically uh, the first ever Japanese packs I saw as a kid were the Neo series. Now, it's just trying to remember exactly what the Neo cards were that I saw as a kid, because uh, those memories are far gone. Uh, those cards, unfortunately, I lost all of them in the house fire, but we will celebrate no matter what. All right, I'm taking out the coins right here, and I actually should have just put them in there. So, nonetheless. All right, Shining Fates. Oof. You guys just want to open up this one normally? Let's take a look. Here's your code card for that. Which is weird, because that was not on the other side. Let's see what we got. Ooh, an apple ton. There we go. Now, am I missing? I might, actually, this might be one that I'm adding to the master set. So, there we go. We got three shinies and holographic devil, which is a bleed through holographic. So, that's kind of cool. You can see it's going right through. You guys can see that, actually. I was not holding that card correctly at all. Beautiful. Beautiful, man. Yeah, crazy. I remember our first 100 subscribers. I was like, yeah, we did it. We made it. And then 200, and I was like, oh my god, like, great things are going. And then 300, we opened up every Sword and Shield pack. That was, you know, and now we're at 400, man. That is insane. Let's see what we got. Uh, Rustic, I didn't think there was going to be anything in this. I got a Rustic Sword, come on. I didn't think there was going to be anything in that. <sighs> That's it, man. Seems to be one shiny per tin. Can we keep that record going? I hope so. I hope so. I'm just excited, man. Normally, uh... Yeah, and normally that's just a different tone where I'm just like, oh, come on, Shiny Fates, you absolutely suck balls. Like, no, 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 no. Nah, I'm, I'm, I'm in celebration mode today, guys. It's, it's a nice milestone. It's just very, very nice. Um, To be honest, the success I've had in my life has had its ups and downs. I've been at the top of where I wanted to be in life, and then I've been at the very bottom. And to reach another milestone uh, during a global health crisis, man, is just an absolute blessing. And I can't thank you guys enough. It really is. It really means the world to me that you guys stuck with us during this. You could have been doing anything in the world, but you would hear with us today. Truly, truly meant the world. So, Celebi Tin, let's go ahead and let's open up this Drap Lock pack first. Oh, yeah. So, you see how that was? That was the weirdest thing. Weirdest thing, how that was just on the other side. So these, uh, a bunch of these cards, man. That's good. What the hell are we going to do with all these Shiny Fates cards? If anybody wants Shiny Fates cards, just hit me up, man. Just hit me up, dude. Seriously. All right. So we are going to try and pull a Charizard. I want the chances of that. If we actually ended up doing that, man, we have officially retired, uh, Shining Fates. That would be hilarious. All right. So we got a Cramorant VMAX. Not bad. Not bad. It's a shitty hollow. I mean, it's not that much. It's just a Cram. Like, I can fucking hate. I really do. I really do. As far as centering goes, uh, no, it's actually, it's off centering. It's a lot more on the top than it is on the bottom. 
But I'm gonna put that right there as far as a decent pull goes, especially as a VMAX card. But always sitting there wondering what's gonna be in these packs is the most, uh, you know, nervous thing in the world. Nervous thing in the world, man. All right. Beautiful, beautiful Cacnea. All right. What the hell? Where is our code card? Comedy right here. Okay, so that was stuck in there. All right. Fair enough. Fair enough. That's all. I was like, wait a minute. What the hell just happened? All right. So, how many more tins? We got one more tin left of Shiny Fates. All right. Even if we don't open up anything good today, we still came away with a couple of Shinies, which actually is not bad at all. More Peko, Eevee. Oh, an amazing rare Kyogre. I got like 18,000 of these. And the it's a Celebi. All right. So, you know what? For $8.99, I think that's what they were. $8.99 retail or maybe $12.99, depending on where you bought them from. Walgreens had them for $12.99. Retail, they were $8.99 uh, from everywhere else. So, that's just like when GameStop released the uh, premium collections. They were $10 more on the Drap Lock and what was it? Oh my god, it was the uh, Crobat, the Crobat uh, Premium Collection. Yeah, they had them for 50 when clearly on Pokemon's website they were only uh, $39.99, so it's just like, alright, whatever. Reshiram. One of the signature Pokemon for black and white, mainly white, but... Oh, actually, you know what? He was on the black cover. <laughs> now that I think about that, I'm pretty sure he was actually on the... Yeah, I think he was on the black cover. So, was he the official mascot for Pokemon White or Pokemon Black? I have no idea. More like a yin and yang. I think that's a, I think that's what they were going with. Could be wrong. Could be wrong. Just don't want to actually use that. You know what? Let me actually just put that up there. I don't I don't want that exact I like to literally stab any card or absolutely destroy anything. So, nonetheless. All right. Let's go ahead. Take a look at your Shiny Fates code card. Steal that. Do what you will as it. By all means. Trust me. There are a lot of people that are uh, just in it for the code cards, man. And those are what we call a bunch of dicks. Cacnea, more Peko, Snob. Because literally, all you have to do is play the TCG game, and you get a shit ton of coins, and you get the code cards anyway, man. All right, and we got Manaphy. Nothing too crazy. But the last pack of Shining Fates that I plan on pulling on the channel. Literally, I think we are done after this. I think we are solely retired on Shining Fates. We pulled almost every amazing card we could we pulled the charizard uh for gabby we did that already uh we pulled the i pulled one for myself that was off camera of course that always has to happen but i plan on retiring guys so here we go unless there's a new product launch for shiny fates that's different but here we go the last shiny fates pack i plan on doing i planned on doing on the channel coughing what do we got more peko and a galarian wheezing i don't have this so this is going to go into the master set Beautiful. We ended up with a card. I do not have another Celebi non-holographic. So there we go, guys. That was that for the entire duration of those Shiny Fates mini tins. Those Shiny Fates mini tins. If you guys want any of these tins, let me know. Um, just like the tin itself, if I have extra, I'll be more than happy to send it to you. I don't necessarily need like 80 of them. Just, I don't. <laughs> really, really don't. But let's take a look at that. Galarian Weezing, Appleton, Galarian Darmanitan, and Toxel. All right, so I'm going to shoot and say that three out of the four of those I don't have. The Kyogre, I definitely have. Uh, Kramer and V, I got. So maybe we'll just put them onto the shop for cheap. Or maybe we'll do a giveaway. Who knows, guys? Whatever you want to do. But I got two. <sighs> Check Lane Blister Battle Styles for the three packs. Odds are, can we pull a Tyranitar? That is the one card I am searching for right now. I don't want to use the exact knife on this because you could literally possibly destroy everything that is inside. But we are going to do, again, a massive giveaway. I'm not going to spoil what's part of the giveaway because it is going to be fun. It, it's going to be more... Okay, and also, here's the shaming coin. It's not just going to be Pokemon items that we're giving away. It's going to be, uh, you know, video game merchandise. It's going to be uh, pre-release items. We have got a bunch of stuff that was given to us uh, by... GameStop and yeah so thank you guys for helping us and supporting the channel we are absolutely going to give a bunch of stuff away and trust me it's going to be really fun it's going to be a really fun giveaway celebration everything in that video we are doing we are giving away so all right battle styles all right let's see four cards code card my master set is somewhat complete I'll give it that somewhat complete 
Gotta get the, uh, I got the Urchin Movie Max. I know I, I got that one already. But yeah, the Tyranitar, man, that is the one that we're looking for. All right, Mawile, Bellsprout, and a Kingdra Holographic. Guy, at least it's holographic to start off the Battle Styles. The last Battle Styles packs we plan on pulling on the channel. That's it, man. I plan on retiring Battle Styles. I hate the set. You guys know how I feel about it. I think it sucks. <laughs> but I'm not going to sit there and search day in and day out and open up cards for an expansion you guys don't want to see. That is just not me. I'm not going to open up the same thing in search of the same card over and over again and eventually get tired of, you know, my own work. You know, I want to keep it fresh. I want to keep it new. But here we go. Artillery and Age of Slash. This is why Battle Styles disappoints, guys. <laughs> but that's just it. Like, I'm not the type of uh, Pokemon collector to sit there and ch Like, I know how money works. I know how easy it is to try and get the card that you're missing. I picked up the Pierce card, the uh, reverse rare that I was missing for 35 cents in my Champion's Path Master Set. And hilariously, hilariously, um, oh, damn. Well, the, the look at this. The rare card is already destroyed. All right, well, we're going to turn around and look at it. Larry, Mr. Mime. That's upsetting. What was the reverse rare? Wow, Corp Dish. That sucks. All right, well, that, Battle Styles, you are completely, uh... I have no words. I have really no words for you, Battle Styles. Okay, so in case you guys didn't know, barcode, this is Eevee. Eevee the barcode. Yeah, beautiful pack, man. I will say this, uh, the promo cards actually did a hell of a job. But, as I was saying, guys, Battle Styles sucks ass. I'm sorry. You can't change my mind on it. I was very disappointed, and it, that comes from a uh, playing aspect of the game. Trust me, I wanted to use these battle mechanics. I really did, but they totally just shit the brick on this, guys. I'm sorry. I'm sorry Pokemon let you down with Battle Styles. I really am. I really am. It's tough. It's really tough. I don't know if I got to show you that or not, or actually went ahead and there you go. All right, so I'm going to move this camera because I keep knocking it over. I'm going to go into a little bit of an angle right here. Give myself a little bit more room. All right. But battle styles. Ooh. All right, what do we got? Okay, so that's actually kind of cool. The gold bad, uh reverse rare. I kind of like. Man, yeah, screw you, Vivalon. I've been trying to complete every Vivalon in Pokemon Home for the longest time, and it's taken me an absolute day and a half. Uh, like, <laughs> more like a year and a half, really. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Maybe we'll open up something else, man. Because, of course, Battle Styles has to be a pain in the ass. Of course they do. Let's see. All right, a bronze on, not a hot. Yeah, not bad. Anything classic? Nope. Anything good? Nope. All right, let's go. Spoink, Roly Coley, Frillish, Esper, Flipbug, Fermantis, and a Salazzle. I do not want to end the 407 subscriber video on that note. Get the hell out of here. All right. Let's bring out the big guns. Pardon me one second. Surprise! <laughs> you guys thought I would leave you hanging? All right, there we go. 407 subscribers. We got the final, final one in a long time that we were able to order and successfully got. Beautiful, hidden face elite trainer box, man. All right, I don't care anymore. It's 407 subscribers. We are opening this up. This is why you got to stick through to the end of the video, guys. Always, always stick through to the end of the video. We have plenty of surprises for you. I got code cards that are flying everywhere. Got to move these son of a bitches. All right, you sons of bitches. There we go. All right. First time opening this on the channel, I think. <laughs> this could be a milestone. But this is what I'm saying. i 47 Studios, you never know when we can do something amazing. That's why don't skip ahead. You never skip ahead. You never skip ahead, man. All right. Hidden Fates. I thought I was going to leave you guys hanging. Anticipation. I like the surprise element. Let's take a look at this. All right, we already know all the cards basically in here, but the one that we want. Let's say you guys saw my master set. It's already complete. It's already complete. I could go for another Mewtwo GX. 
I could go for another, uh, you know, fisherman maybe. Not any of the evolutions, but the main one that we want is right there, guys. This badass right here, Charizard GX. You guys see it a little bit better right there. Let's go. Maybe this is the chance. I'm getting excited. I've never actually successfully pulled the card by myself. So, all right, guys. Here we go, Hidden Fates. Hidden Fates, man. Let's take a look. What do we got? Beautiful Moltres Aptos Articuno. Beautiful promo. Now, hilariously, as you guys, I'm going to give you this code card right here. I got a PSA 10 of this. Uh, I'm, already, uh, I'm already set. I only need one card of each. So, we're going to possibly send more of these to PSA when they reopen and see what they come back as. See if I can get another PSA 10, but we got... Let me just showcase everything that's actually in here so you guys can actually see. Ain't that some... <laughs> All right, we got the sleeves. Uh, we got, you know what? Do I got a, do I got a bunch of sleeves? No, you know what? I'm gonna use these sleeves for today. I'm gonna use screw. It's 407 subscribers. I don't care anymore. It's beautiful. Well, I do care because you guys are the 407. Or the four. You know what? I think we're actually at like way over 407. I think we're at like 410. Not way over, but anyway, anyway, calm your horses down. I know you guys wanted hidden face. I know, and this is my point. You guys see the thumbnail, you see Neo, and then you're like, oh, let me jump to the end of the video. Nah, because then you just missed out on all the Hidden Fates packs. <sighs> you guys want some more shiny Pokemon? Let's go. All right. I hate doing the card trick, and everybody knows that, but here we go. Brox, Kogas, Eevee, Clefairy, Psyduck, Ekans, Caterpie, Staryu, Zapdos Holographic, at least it's a holographic to start it off, Zapdos, beautiful, 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 look at this, Hayden face, man, ah, oh. such a good time, man, Hayden face was one of the series that really got me back into it, man, it was like, kind of like the first, like, rush that I had, and that was it, man, I was hooked, Eevee, Pikachu, Arbuck non-holographic, I haven't seen these cards in forever, man, I really haven't. These are all going into a, it, probably the uh, the backup binder that we can, I, I don't know, man. We might even give some of these away the other, uh, on a, uh, you know what I mean? I a lot of these extra cards, man. I got so many champions path. Might even start giving away free uh, master set starter kits at this point with purchases. That might be the, uh, I'm getting nervous. Do we got anything? What do we got? Hey, shiny Rockruff. I, I, I can't even talk. Shiny Rockruff. Beautiful. All right, baby shiny. There we go. It's not a baby shiny at all. Why do I keep saying that? These damn kids have got me on this hip young lingo. And I said to myself I was going to actually go ahead and uh, open up these sleeves. So let me go ahead and do that. What was the card behind it? And a... Oh, my God. Look at that jolty on centering. That is off. That is, like, literally, it's just crooked. All right, so I'm going to hold on to that one, too. That might get an OC. I love it. I might get an OC. Off center. All right. Anyway, enough fooling around. Let's open up these damn packs. Come on. All right, Rockruff. Blue, my blue doggy, my blue puppy. Ooh. You have caused so many issues in the last two years, Charizard. It is. It is your fault. All your fault. You guys want to blame anyone? Blame Charizard. Blame Charizard. What in the hell happened here? Oh my god. No surprises on uh, i47 Studios. If that's the Charizard card, dude, I'm gonna lose it. I'm gonna lose it. How would that even happen? Waltorb, coughing, Cubone. Oh, it's an Erica's Hospitality. Okay! Moltres, Zapdos, Articuno. What? Oh, there's no damage on it. Thank god. Was this the reverse? Yes, it is. Told you the reverse rares are in shitty condition always. Beautiful. All right, so that's like a, uh, like a $13 card, something like that. All right, all right, all right, all right. Not bad, not bad. What do you open up, three packs or four? No, we open up four. Oh, I forgot that they come with 10. So we have six to go. Oh, we forgot. It's like Shining Fates uh, ETB, man. Well, actually, Hidden Fates did it for, um, did, Sh did Shining Legends do it first? I don't remember. I don't remember. It's been so long. Maybe we have to open up a Shining Fates ETV. I don't know, guys. Not Shining Fates. 
Shiny Legends. There's too many of them. Charmeleon. Graveler. Farfetch'd. Psyduck. Pikachu. Magikarp. Coughing. Clefairy. Chansey. And... Well, that's kind of disappointing. Pretty sure it was a white code pack, but whatever. This Electrode is still off-center also. You see this right here? What the hell did they do? What did they... Oh my god, these are horribly off-center. I am going to submit these. I just want to see what happens when they get graded. And it seems to be the Thunder type. What the hell? All right. See, you can't always trust the white code card packs, man. That's it. That's it. Told you guys not to trust them, and you told me otherwise. All right, so there are there is a bunch of white names in this. Well, let's hope we can pull something decent. Sabrina, Misty, Metapod, Caterpie, Pettis, Charmander, Clefairy, Slowpoke. Jolteon and a Lapras. Unbelievable. So we only had one shiny and then we got the secret rare. That is the one secret rare out of the entire set. Wow. Kind of a disappointing elite trainer box, all things considered. Ain't that some shit. Ain't that some shit. But who cares? We are having a good time and we're opening up shiny feats. I know we're going to come away with something else. I know we're going to come away with full art. We're going to get something decent. Caterpie, Ekans, Harris, Charmander, Slowpoke. And an Alolan Vulpix Shiny. Ain't that beauty. And a Butterfree. Get out of here, Butterfree. Beautiful card, man. Beautiful Alolan Vulpix. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Love it, love it, love it. There we go. Put you right there. Stunning. All right, so what do we got left? You know what? I'm going to save the Charizard pack for last. I'm going to open up Mew because I trust my boy. A lot of non-holographics in this particular expansion, guys. Insanely. Insane crazy amount, it really is. All right. Ooh, let's open up this pack normally. Let's just see if we can get any different luck. And ironically, we got the Mew. Mew in the Mew pack. All right, there we go. I don't know how often that happens, but we got it. All right, Mewtwo. So can we pull a Mewtwo GX? I don't know. Probably not. Probably not. All right, let's go ahead and shake things up. You guys know the drill. Four cards to the back. Jinx. Pokemon Center Chip, Metapod, Rock with Hands, Mouse with Feet, That Thing, Cubone, Clefairy, and damn, we got a Zora Shiny. Not bad. Not bad. Not bad. We still didn't pull a full art. I'm actually kind of shocked at that. But, you know, we still came away with actually some decent pulls. Decent pulls, man. Decent pulls. I'm, like I said, I'm an open box collector, so if you put it in front of me, I don't care what it is, I'm opening it. I really don't. <laughs> I don't care at all. Trust me, because I'd rather open these. Yeah, man. There we go. I'd rather open these and see what's inside instead of wasting my time sitting there being like, oh, you know, because if I, if, you know what I mean? If my last day ever came and I didn't open up that box, I would forever wonder what was in it. Ah, there we go. We got the shiny full art Nia Lego GX. And a Jesse and James holographic. Not bad. So the last hidden fake pack that we got. Beautiful. Nihilego. Awesome. GX. Shiny. I am going to probably knock over all of these hidden fates packs. All these hidden fates cards. I'm going to have to sort through those. I don't even really know what kind of reversers are in there or whatnot. But beautiful. Beautiful, guys. So let's take a look at our beautiful hidden fates pulls. Nihilego. Zora. Mullen Vulpix. Moltres and Articuno, Rockruff, and a random Zapdos. All right, you guys ready? It's about that time. It is about that time. Let me get my uh, let me get my sleeves in order because I'm probably gonna put every single one of these cards in the sleeves. Ooh, ooh. I love it when you know you look <laughs> and the past is staring you right in the face. Unbelievable, man. This is about a two to three hundred dollar pack. At least I think now it is. I, I can't imagine what this is going for anymore. I really don't. Neo Genesis contains 111 cards. Each player must have a 60 card deck and recommended for ages 10 and up. I think we checked off all those. Beautiful. Wizards of the Coast. Look at that. Yep, that's in there. It's official, man. I don't know the card trick. I really don't. I'm hoping for a holographic Lugia. I'm hoping for, you know, an EV card or something. 
Um, I'm ready. I'm ready. I ain't gonna put every single one of these cards in the sleeve, so this can go straight into my master set, but let's be as careful as we can. Oh my god, it's like fresh sealed. Well, I ripped that. Oh well. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god, look at these. I told you, man, I'm gonna be very careful. I'm gonna put all these in the sleeve, so I'm gonna put them right here. All right, so we got Horsey. So there are 111 cards in this expansion. I don't know when the rare comes. I don't. But let's take it. Let's go. It's Hoda Isle. And these cards are freaking mint. Beautiful, man. All right, Pokemon March. All right, Snubble. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful. All right, what do we got? A berry. All right, we got a berry. I haven't seen these in ages, man. It's it's, it's generally just like, you know, I'm I'm like in a time machine right now. This might be the rare. So let's go ahead. Oh no, it was a Swinub. That's how. That's how. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. I'm all. I'm I'm on one. All right, let's go. This might be the rare. And it is. It's a Sneasel non-holographic. Oh my god. Wow. Non-holographic Sneasel. Unbelievable. That is pretty cool, though. I don't have this. I don't have any of these cards anymore. Might not be worth anything, to be honest, but it was just the excitement to open up this pack. And look at that energy. I'm going to put that down for a second. There we go. Bay leaf and a gold berry and a palm. That's it, man. That is all she wrote. We got a beautiful Sneasel non-holographic. Looks to be about a PSA 9, PSA 10. Beautiful, perfect centering, man. I don't know what it's worth. I'm going to pop up on screen and see what it's worth. But it has been an absolute great journey. I love you guys. And thank you so much for tuning in. It has been an amazing road. And I can't wait to get to 500 subscribers. Maybe we'll open up another one for 500. So hit that subscribe button, guys. Hit that like button. Enjoy your life. Remember that everything good comes to those who wait. I love you guys. And it's been an amazing journey. Thank you for 407 subscribers.